Hey there, StarCraft fans, it's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be Cure and Maru from GSL Season 1 here on Ghost River. I watched this live and it's an incredible game. Well, I didn't watch it live because it was like 3 a.m. my time, but I did watch it when I woke up, so basically live, right? So top left, it's going to be Cure, and the top right, it's going to be Maru. So a TVT for those of you who like TVT. It's going to be excellent because I chose to cast it. All right. What's the play? What's the play going to be here? I do like early game TBT because there are so many units that are viable for your first push. All right. So build orders are pretty much the same here. No proxies, no early gas, just supply depot, barracks, and then putting down your gas here. Production tab is mirrored. But from there is going to be another barracks, a factory, another gas. Yes, indeed. Morrow takes another gas and Cure does not. Cure is a GSL champion one time and Morrow is a GSL champion six times. So, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we know who's favored here. But who is favored is not who will always win. You know that. So sending out an SCV here is Cure. Both players starting up a Reaper. Mars Reaper is a little bit ahead, but that's okay. And... Ah, expanding here is Cure. And throwing down a factory is Maru. Okie doke. That's exciting. What do we got going on here? What's a good play going to be here? Cyclones, maybe? We could go into a quick starport, get Liberators out, try to do like one base attack. That'd be awesome. So this Reaper name submitted by Ionic Duffield, a uh, longtime subscriber. Name is Potato Chips. He was a respectable clerk in the Imperial Palace when Emperor Manx, one day, as he was hungry, asked for potato chips. Guess who came and was welcomed to wear a Reaper suit? Gosh. Uh, okay, Potato Chips. And then the Reaper on this side, as we're just kind of defending at this point. Nothing too exciting going on with these Reapers. Submitted by Sachib is Gornik. After watching the tournament in Katowice, the coal miner decided that he also had to take part in StarCraft battles. He trained so hard and showed exceptional reflexes that the Space Forces, seeing his talent, drafted him into the army and put him in a Reaper suit. Very cool. So Mara's expanding, but the extension for Cure is done. So expansion earlier here from Cure. That could be nice. Two Reaper Hellion, very traditional. Uh, Reaper Marines, not as traditional. Oh, no. Cure goes for the Cyclone first. Intriguing. But uh, let's see here. Factory Tech Lab. That's a Starport. Early, early Starport here from Maru. Able to get there. Uh, but Cure's making a Starport too. He's not that far behind. Right? So Maru goes for the earlier Starport, but Cure goes for the earlier expansion. Which I really... Hmm. Gotta expect it here. Third gas on the way from Maru. I mean, yeah, Cure's running on two now. Obviously. I mean, not obviously. You can go for like a two or three racks, like just mass marine kind of a thing and try to kill your opponent that way. It's actually, would it be too bad here against what Cure's doing? There is no splash damage in this army. No Hellions to roast up Marines. You kind of have to proxy it though. And Maru's not actually, not really proxying. But here goes Maru, moving out. Got a siege tank, got some marines. I'm liking it. Raven's on the way from Cure. Dude, disabling a medevac in a situation like this is like game winning. But you have to research it now. And nope, it is not researched. So, Hellions. And there we go. Siege tank setting up. Here's that aggressions. Yeah, like I said, weird compositions, man. It's never the same two comps twice in early game TBT, I swear. Yeah, they both have tanks, but it's more marines. There's a raven here from Cure. Morrow doesn't have one. Uh, there's a cyclone out from Cure. The siege tank is firing away on the second base, but it takes a while for one tank to whittle down an entire command centre. Mm, cyclone here. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. Morrow decides not to try to push into this. Another tank on the high ground is problematic. 
It's like, can we maybe get some siege tank shots up here? No, Cure's mirroring this. He's mirroring this movement pretty effectively. A couple of Vikings out for Morrow <laughs> to snipe the Raven, but the tank gets interfered with. Uh, don't lose a Raven. He does lose a Raven. Oh, brutal. Brutal, brutal death. Death to the Raven. Third base coming in here from Maru. What? With all this pressure out, I like it. Expand while attacking. It is a simple thing, but it is so hard to remember to do when you're attacking somebody. You're like, but I must pay attention to all of my units on this side of the map and micro my heart out. Oh yeah, I should do that, but also expand. How about that? It's tough, like I said. Okay, so Supply Depot takes some damage, gets out of there as Cure sieges up a tank. Maru gets a Marine. He's making some good trades here. Resources lost 600 for Cure, 275 for Maru. So early game here for Maru is looking all right. Getting some work done. Maru's third base is coming up. Liberators being added in from Maru. Like I said, that's an option. Everything's an option, man. Siege tanks. Uh, Marines, Marauders. I just, everything. Medivacs. Hellions, Hellbats. Vikings, obviously. Oh, landing the Vikings. Oh my gosh, it's walking right up to some tanks with landed Vikings. Bonus versus mechanical to get two of the tanks. That's huge. Oh, that is so huge. Two of the tanks on the low ground. Duke get disabled here for Maru. And, oh my gosh, Cyclone burning one down. The other one's going to die before it's able to come out of... Oh, comes out of getting disabled. Incredible play there from Cure. Both players taking some serious hits here. And Cure's managed to actually do more damage to Maru than he's taken. So he's flipped it. He's flipped the resources lost tab with that maneuver. Those two tanks going down are awesome. Ah, trying to get back in here in the main base again. No, but Maru has a third base. He's bringing SCVs into it. I don't know, man. Cure is really... He's got a third orbital here, but he's really too afraid to land it. He doesn't want to move out against this, because if he moves out to do it on the low ground, then the high ground gets dropped. And sieged with Liberators. Ugh. This is so bad for Cure, man. Yeah, man. Vikings landing. Bam. Cancel on your barracks. Whatever that was. Unloading a siege tank into the mix. And look. Cure's army is out of position to deal with this. This is so damaging. Liberators causing all sorts of issues. SCB is getting pulled off. The main base has to lift. No, walking into Liberator circles with siege tanks and stuff. SCV's getting pulled, going for the surround. Nice on siege and pick up and retreat there by Maru. But he got seven SCV kills, ton of lost mining time. And Maru's got a third base rolling. He's got a 10 worker advantage. Income plummeting into Maru's favor here on the income tab because of all that lost mining time. It should start to go back up now for Cure, but dude needs to put, he needs to get this third base on the ground somewhere. Sitting here in the main base is not doing him any good at all. Not even close, man. Fusion core on the way for Maru. Could be for advanced ballistics. Could be for battle cruiser. We see battle cruiser in this matchup, maybe more than any other in the current meta. And even that, it's not even a guarantee. It's not like we're going to see battle cruisers in 50% of the matches that are TBTs. Mostly because a lot of the TBTs die. They end before we get to the point BCs are even viable. So anyway, oh, Vikings want those Ravens. So, oh, they've been, uh, okay. Enough to one volley down Raven. Is that two more Ravens that died? Yeah, four Ravens for Cure have gone down already in only eight minutes. And still, Cure's like, I'd like to land this base, but I can't. Oh, oh, okay. A little bit, a oh, little bit casual there. For Morrow losing a, okay, I was like four Vikings dead for something they killed over here. I'm not sure if that was another Raven. Let's see. It was five ravens have now died from cure. Brutality. Brutality. All right. Maru's getting a fourth base while cure is just now landing his third. And we learned this in kindergarten or maybe earlier. I mean, I think I learned my counting from Sesame Street, if I had to guess. <laughs> I don't remember learning how to count. My numbers or my letters. And uh, it's not like I, I didn't do preschool. I guess I did do a preschool. I learned there too. Anyway, we all learn letters and numbers and how what numbers are bigger than other numbers and four is bigger than three. Here's trying to get a fourth base down this left side, just building it on location, which is a little bit risky, but hey, he's attacking. 
So he can attack and expand. Let's go. Ooh, curse. This is a great angle to come in on this planetary. The Marines are like, oh, we'll take down this refinery. we we'll start shelling this planetary fortress. How's that sound? How's your repair right now, Maru? And Maru's like, my repair is great. Shut up. But SCVs are dying thanks to the splash damage. All it takes four SCVs go down. The repair is not as good. But a battle cruiser joins the party and says, hey, you got enough Marines to kill me? And Cure's like, actually, I think I do. Maybe. It depends on the micro here, though, right? This group is just not making a move. I feel like they should, but man, these high ground siege tanks. Really dissuading. Dissuading anybody from trying to get in there, that's for sure. So, Vikings from Cure, battle cruisers from Maru. Technically, Vikings do counter battle cruisers, but there are already nine Vikings out from Maru. He's way ahead on the Viking count, plus he's got two battle cruiser producing, plus he's got Yamato on the way, plus he's got plus one attack for... Or wait, 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 wait. Plus one armor for ground and air units here. Well, vehicle and ship plating is the official name, as it has always been. Well been for a very long time nevertheless okay cure setting up siege tanks marines vikings out cure one two three four fifth base okay i like it Cure's like, five is more than four. Can I hold this is the question. But it just comes down to compositional choice here, right? The siege tank count for Cure is pretty big. Siege tank count, I mean, for Maru here is not nothing. He's got eight siege tanks as well. It's the same tank count number. Just kidding. One of Cure's tanks just went down. So that's not going to work. But Cure throwing up four Vikings at a time, working on ship weapons, working on 2-2 for his Marines as well. Marines are going to help in any engagement against a Sky Terran army, battle cruisers, or Vikings, but especially Vikings. Vikings are definitely squishier, definitely squishier than their Viking counterparts. But yeah, man, six Vikings at a time. Not really trying to keep up with battle cruiser count at all. I don't, even, I don't think he has a fusion core. Cure doesn't. No, doesn't even have a fusion core. So. Oh, Cure getting his fifth base is nice. Can he hold on to it is another question. But yeah, Maru got his fifth base down bottom right side. Yeah, before Cure finished his. So just staying out ahead. But Cure's got a uh, bigger army. He's got more workers right now. He's got overall an army supply advantage. He's feeling all right. I think we're okay with it. Yeah, I think Cure's feeling okay. Hey, there's been a couple moments in this game that have not felt great. But if you can make it to maxed out at 12 minutes against Maru, you're feeling all right about yourself, man. You really are. Yeah. He's like, I got 2-2 two -two Marines down here. Oh, yes. Ah, gets the SCV. Trades a couple Marines for it. That's a fair trade. SCVs. More valuable than Marines at this stage of the game. That's for sure. Marines are like, can I? Nope. <laughs> Take down the sensor tower. No, tanks are placed a little bit too well for that, unfortunately, for you. Maru flying up this top side. Oh, the Vikings are going there too, but Cure's army's at the south. It's way out of position, man. All right, Maru's inside the natural base of Cure, and there's nothing to stop the battle cruisers. Uh, the Vikings decide to fly back home, but they're not particularly fast battle cruisers, giving them the ability to move while shooting. One of the best upgrades any unit has gotten in the days of StarCraft 2, man. Absolutely fantastic. Took battle cruisers from not really viable in any situation to insanely viable in many situations. And teleport out. You flew in there slow, so you can teleport out. And here they are. So 23 SCVs died, though. God, here's economy. Not pleased about that. It might have just freed up supply. No, he's making more SCVs. To replace the ones that died. I was going to say, maybe he just wants a bigger army value, but uh, nope, not really. He'd stop making SCVs if that was the case and just continue to make more and more Vikings. Oh my gosh, the Viking count. It's 34 Vikings versus 24 Vikings and 7 battle cruisers. I think Morrow has the advantage here. Of course, it comes down to who flies into the other player's turrets. Uh, do we get some anti armor missiles out here too? Who has Ravens? Uh, there, Morrow has one Raven. Do every one of Cure's Ravens have died today? All five of them that he produced are dead. I thought he had another one, but no. Turns out, he did not. 
Anti-armor missile, ka -chow! Yamato! <laughs> oh! Woof! Sniping individual Vikings down here. 33 Vikings to 26, plus the battlecruisers of Maru. Yeah, this many battlecruisers are not worried. There aren't enough Vikings to one volley down a battlecruiser. But it's close here. Oh, man. The battlecruisers are taking a lot of hits. Another one goes down. The Vikings are fighting. Not letting the battlecruisers fight anymore because how many battlecruisers have gone down here? Four. Four of them have died. Eight more Vikings on the way here from Cure. He's trying to hold. He lost a bunch of workers, but he's able to replace them quite nicely. 34 SCBs have died for him, only nine for Maru. So Maru's had more money to make stuff rather than make SCBs to replace the ones that died. Make a, got a lot of orbitals down here. He could probably start sacking some SCBs based on how many orbitals he has. At some point, especially in TVT, it's like, I don't really need 80 SCBs anymore. Both players spending their cash really admirably here, too. Nobody's at 500 minerals in their bank at 16 minutes in this game, where they both have, like, eight bases, so. Uh, only seven bases for Cure, and only uh, six. Wait, not correctly. Yeah, six bases for each. Ghost River doesn't have a million expansions, so. Hard to do that. Army value, 121 to 116, but it's not all about army value. It's about upgrades. It's about composition. I like how it's hybrid. We've got some tanks on both sides of this engagement as well, which is very fun. Maru's like, oh, man, you want to attack into this? How many turrets are there? None? Siege tank shelling away at this planetary. Cure does not want to lose this thing. He might have to engage. His turret is up. I'm not sure the one turret's going to make all the difference here. Anti-armor missile. Bam! Hits it. And Maru pounces. Both players taking anti-armor missile hits here. And they're both trying to kite. Looks like, yeah, both players trying to kite back and forth here. Just absolutely blasting each other with the missiles coming out of these Vikings, man. Are we, what are we waiting for here? I don't know, but ah, another Raven dies. Cure sort of abandons the position. This base is important for you, though. I don't know about abandoning this spot. Yeah, Cure's like, oh, wait, I guess I do have to defend this base. Quickly repair it, my boys. I see armor missile, and it can't go the other way because the Raven died. That's huge. Anti-armor missile increasing the damage taken by these Vikings. 107 to 86 supply. Army value, rather. Both players not doing super hot. It's just a matter of armor here. Reinforcing Vikings coming in from both sides. A Raven of Cures arrives. No, immediately gets blown apart. We got another three Ravens joining the party, though. These siege tanks still causing problems, though. If you land and kill these tanks... The enemy Vikings get the advantage over you. So, inter there you go. Disabling one of the tanks. Wiping the other one out. And this group of Marines manages to get there. You go. Tanks out. Planetary stays alive. We have split this map in half. Six bases to six. It is Ghost River because of this ghostly river. Right here in the center of the map. That is appearing to be kind of hotly contested. I don't know. I don't know. Concussive shell on the way here from Cure. Ooh, Thor's in the mix. I like it. Anti-air mode here. Gonna do some work. Cure's like, I'm tired of defending this base. So he stops defending this base. And then it dies. And Cure's like, oh, wait, I guess I shouldn't be tired of defending this base. Yamato's take the planetary down. That's what we like to see. That is some great use of Yamato there from Maru. Yours like must get something done. Interference matrix on a tank on a battle cruiser. Trying to attack another tank gets disabled. Another one dies before it can siege up and cure. Kind of just absolutely marching his way through here, taking down a ton of stuff. Where are his Vikings and why are they not helping against these VCs, man? 
I guess maybe the Vikings or the Thors are a problem here. Actually, are they in single target mode or are they in splash damage air mode? What do you think? Hard. That looks like single target mode, but again, the Vikings are kind of covering them up a little bit. Maru continuing to make battle cruisers. So, I mean, Cure lost the base, but he's been able to been able to stay up. And the battle uh, the command center is back, but I like yeah these SCVs of Cure are like kill them. I could use the supply. This is just a crazy hybrid sky Terran dance being done here. It's a delicate, delicate dance. Your motto on a tank, tank down, man down. <laughs> His SCV's got a missile turret. They're going to take down a sensor tower, too. Morrow's like, I don't care. You kill my stuff for free. Where are the Vikings? God, the Vikings out of position here. Morrow getting some early hits off. More anti-armor missile, and it's all on Maru's... Oh, so, so the Vikings wouldn't get the anti-armor missile, disabling the siege tanks. But it does wear off eventually, and they can tank a bunch of damage. What the heck? You're backing out. Remember? Oh, and then the jump on the retreating Vikings. Okay, that did not. Well, it takes a second. Not as good as the blink necessarily is. But the tactical jump, man. Oh, uh, army value 123 to 70. How did that work out for Maru? He got all of his battle cruisers disabled. The enemy Vikings got anti-armored, and Cure lost a lot. He lost everything. He's got uh, seven Vikings left to 27. Did he invest? GG. Did he invest too much in Marines and Marauders is the question here. Wow. Yeah, resources lost here, 41,000 31,000. We have to look. We have to see... So before this battle, it's 28,000 resources lost for Cure, 26,000 for Maru. Okay? It's 26 Vikings against 26 Vikings, 10 battle cruisers in the mix here for Maru. But then... The Ravens come in from the top. They disable all the battle cruisers. The Vikings are fighting. The anti-armor means you're taking extra hits. There's Marines down here. What the heck is killing the Marines? Oh, okay, just the Marines. No, 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 no. I guess some of the battle cruisers weren't necessarily disabled. They were still attacking. Oh my gosh. And then, yeah. Basically, from this point on, it turns into all of Cure's Vikings are dead, and the resources lost just skyrockets for Cure. And that's it. Wow. I don't know, man. Maru's a magician. That battle should not have gone as well for him as it did. I don't know if he overextended with his Marines or what. But, dude, that was crazy. Yeah, man, 12 battle cruisers went down. I mean, Maru still had 8 at the end of the game, but still. Ooh. 42 Vikings died for Maru. Uh, how many? 83 Vikings died for Cure. Is that an upgrade thing? That's Oh, maybe Cure's lack of plus three vehicle and ship plating helped. It probably helped. I would argue it helped. Anyway. Man. That was great. What a fantastic display. And the Battle Cruisers got the win here. They got the win in a TVT. Cures like a who needs Battle Cruisers? Not me. And then maybe he did. I don't know. It's just Morrow. He's just magic and upgrades too. 
All right, so that's a good game. Great back and forth there. I mean, Cure lost a couple more bases for sure. There's some aggression he's able to push out, but at the end of the day, Mara wins the engagement that matters the most, and he gets the W. Or as the kids would say, the dub. Cool. So that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.